G'day Internet and welcome back to another video for Sept Handy. And this here is my TRS-80 Model 3, affectionately known as the well-loved Model 3. And the reason is this, when I got this machine about 18 months or so ago, I, it needed a bit of work, there was some keys that were dodgy and key switches that needed fixing. Um, the original white on black CRT had horrendous burn in, uh, and so I swapped that. Uh, and I also did the reefer caps on the power supply, which you should always do with these old handies, or almost any old computer. Anyway, so I did all that work, and my plans were to actually strip the whole thing down, give it a fresh coat of paint, and look brand new. And as I kind of sat to one side for a bit, as I got distracted, all the little bumps and scrapes and wear marks and all the little original stickers and notes and everything that's kind of stuck, been stuck to it over the years from its previous life kind of grew on me a bit. And I, it occurred to me that this machine has a story, it has a history, so I'm going to leave it as it is. It's all been kind of wiped down and cleaned, but for the most part, it's exactly the way it was last time it was used in anger. So that's the explanation behind the well-loved Model 3. But the subject for today's video is adding a hard drive to it. Now, a lot of people might kind of go, TRS-80, hard drive. TRS-80, hard drive. But yes, Tandy did release a hard drive for these machines that look like just like that, and it was two and a half grand for an eight meg hard drive in the early 80s. Not sure what that adds up to today with inflation, but I'm guessing it's a lot. But these days we actually have a better alternative, and that is this. This is called a Fred, and it is an emulated hard disk made by Ian Maverick. And I'll put a link down in the description. And Essentially, this is a bunch of hard drive images on an SD card, and off you go. That's pretty much it. So the installation for this, in theory, is to swap out the boot ROM on the motherboard, plug this in, and turn it on. Let's see if it's as easy as that. So disassembling these machines is actually fairly straightforward, but there is a couple of gotchas. So we'll start by... Flipping it over, and I usually find it's easiest to sit it like this. And we start removing screws. With the screws all out, this is the kind of the tricky bit. What you need to watch out for is that the back of the CRT doesn't hit the main board, which runs across the entire back of the machine. Now the trick is, is as you lift this up, a gap starts to appear above the top disk drive. And you'll find you can actually look straight through there and see the end of the CRT tube. And now we have it in the standard Tandy servicing position. Um, and you can use it like this and get a really sore neck. But because we want to get round to the back of it, it's going to be easier to disconnect the cable that goes to the video board uh, and the little earth strap. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now we can get the CRT out of the way. Right, with the CRT out of the way, we swing this round and take my board with it. And we have access to the entire main board. Now, I have a replacement ROM from Ian here. And if I open this up, Now I've actually got two in here. I've got one for the Model 3 and one for my 4P as well, but for now I'm only worried about 
the Model 3, and it goes into spot U106, which I believe is down the bottom here. U104, 106. It's the last one down here. So I'm going to very carefully attempt to remove this. And there we go, that's the old ROM chip out. And we take our new one and kind of straighten out the legs a little. And that should just go straight back in there and plug in. And that's it. So with the new ROM installed, it really is just a case now of putting it all back together again. Now, once again, you want to look through that hole. This is where you're really going to have a chance of hitting the CRT against the board. You want to keep an eye on down through that gap as you glide, guide, glide the cover back on. And now we put all the screws back in it. So while I've got it in this position, this here is where we're going to be plugging the thread into. Now, if I grab the thread, the way this works is pin one is this here, and that will plug in there, just like that. With all back together again and our thread all booted up, this is what you get. You get the boot menu and you get to choose from a series of different hard disk images. Um, for this particular machine, CPM and LS-DOS won't work because they're for the Model 4, uh, but LDOS and uh, new DOS 80 will. Um, and also this specific image here that I'm interested in, which is uh, LDOS and a whole bunch of games. So we're going to boot into that. Now this particular one is made up of about three separate petitions, I believe. So if we do a quick DIR, we can see that's drive zero. And it's got a ridiculous amount of games on it. And we get to drive one. And drive three, which has got some extra utilities on here. Now, one of the utilities actually allows you to mount a DSK floppy disk image from the SD card um, and then be able to copy from that image onto the actual hard drive image, which is kind of cool. But at this point, there's really only one game I want to play. So the Mighty Model 3 now has a hard drive, and I'm really happy with that. Um, it makes life with this machine so much easier. Now, I will be the first to admit that out of all my vintage computers, the Tandy ones are actually the easiest to make discs for, but this is just so much easier. Um, I want to send a big thanks to Ian, who got me uh, the Fred uh, while he's still madly packing to try and get to Tandy assembly. 
and he's got a nice 15 hour flight in front of him. Um, so shout out to Ian. And if you're in the area for Tandy Assembly, I'll put some details in the description. I encourage you to go check it out. And if you'd like some more Tandy related videos for SEP Tandy, uh, you can also check out uh, Adrian, Dave and Akba Kuku, uh, their channels, uh, who are also doing Tandy related stuff. Uh, and if you like the video, click like, subscribe and all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.